national leaders of the Labour Party as they demonstrate some dance steps in response to the melody of trumpeters from the northern part of the country. The sound of the trumpets is coming at the time stakeholders in the nation's polity continue to raise concerns over the rising hate speeches and incitements by politicians to woo the electorate upon using regional or religious biases. Today, the number of out-of-school children is more in the north. Um, the northern region, as of today, has uh, more poor people than in the south. In 2015, the number of out-of-school children in the north was 7 million children. As of today, that you have a northern as president, the number of out-of-school children is uh, above 20 million school out of school children. Uh, in 2014, uh, President Goodluck Jonathan built Amajiri schools and removed a lot of Amajiris from the street, provided them with education, provided them with food, catered for those children. But today, the Amajiri schools are no more. Mm. They, they have been abolished, uh, even by somebody who is from the northern part of the country. Aburi says Nigerians should resist such dangerous narratives as poverty, Economic hardship, amongst other challenges, do not segregate based on religion, region, and ethnicity. The person from the north doesn't buy gari cheaper than the person from the south. Uh, inflation is, uh, does not know who is a northerner nor who is uh, a, a southerner. Uh, but what is key to us is that the political oligarchy in Nigeria, whether from the north, south, uh, and so on, have been using religious, tribal, and ethnic settlements to continue to divide the poor people and continue to exploit them. Original ethnic and religious biases are deployed during electioneering to attract support and sympathy of the voting population, relegating competence, capacity, reputation, and integrity of the candidates to the background. Shapiro Suleiman, Trust TV News. Abuja.